I know. Just uh, out here watching the practice snowfall. Presuming that's coming out on the camera. Just leaf after leaf after leaf. Readily letting go. There's a lesson in every leaf. You know, dropping free. Thought I'd take a little walk out here. I can maybe see the uh, recent beaver results from this birch. Which, of course, I don't uh, put this shielding shroud around. And uh, take you for a little walk on my uh, not entirely uh, finished path. And some more uh, wood chips. From, you can see the, uh, I hope, that uh, this uh, stump uh, was taken here and then this is just falling free and if you look closely you can see that they're chewing some more they're gonna take this whole tree that's now leaned and browning uh, down to the ground so it appears that the beavers have been using my little path here so this is probably not the most fun walk to take in that the path is incomplete. There's a little game trail here. Here's kind of where my path came to. Come out to this little high ground and maybe visit the beaver lodge here. beaver sticks here uh, chewed pretty well you can see the uh, the lodge here oh, uh, meditation stone which uh, I may uh, take advantage of I have a little sit The ducks taking off. I'm sure you can see them, if not hear them. They just moved on. Uh, likely actually disturbed by me, but I'm not sure. I'm just kind of walking through the woods, looking at the falling leaves, you know. Um, here we are in this grand bipedal experiment where we have an extraordinarily heightened value of the upright and the unfallen, you know, the degree to which we disconnect from Earth, reach away from Earth, reach the sky reach the stars is uh, a large part of our valuation. If somebody falls, it seems like a failure. If somebody stands, it just seems fine, right, appropriate. If they haven't stood in a while, <clears throat> then it's a celebration. Somebody sitting, lying down, may appear lazy. Somebody standing up, it seems at least that they're embracing this humanity. And of course, we so very highly value, you know. <clears throat> Somebody just had a big splash here. There's a, a late duck just decided the couple taken off here. And we so highly value 
somebody that can fly, you know, and an astronaut all the more so. And so <clears throat> something falling compared to something rising always seems like a mortgaging of hope, like a failure on some level, less notable for sure, maybe mournful or doleful or s sad. And yet, give me another look at the lodge here, and yet, <clears throat> in this deciduous forest. We're reminded every year of the readiness with which release can be explored. There's a tractor over there. And you know, a given tree, you know, practices this release, this letting go, this falling, this dropping, some dozens of thousands of times. <clears throat> and it's just the lightest wind that may. Uh, catalyze that release. Uh, standing here on the nut field, speaking of release and falling, and we have an acorn hit me in the head. <clears throat> it's pretty hard to walk with all these nuts in the head. But, of course falling is not failing but another direction. It's a path. And so what can we take as a lesson from the woods? We kind of all morning have just been leaf drop, leaf drop, leaf drop, leaf drop, leaf drop, leaf drop, leaf drop. All morning. <clears throat> well, we can practice falling around the bones. We can practice. Hey, chipmunk. We can practice. Being aware to the normalcy, the necessity, the usualness of the falling. In this case, nuts ricocheting down the branches just next to us. Look at the trees. And so rising is a part of falling. Falling is a part of rising. There's nothing negative about the falling. It's not a failure. Falling is not failing. Failing is not falling. Failure exists because of a sense of goal. Falling is goalless. It's a, simply a direction. It's a direction, not a destination. And so I'm kind of reminded of that walking in the New England autumn woods. The, in a brief walk like we're having here. 
Leaf after leaf after leaf tumbles free. <clears throat> no suffering, no pain, no angst, no worry. <clears throat> no desperately seized memory of the tree. It's free, it's in the air, it's falling. Would that we could fall so well. And so my practice today will, will just be falling. You can focus on the breast falling as you exhale. Become aware of that falling breast. Inhale. Exhale. It's not sucked in, it's not pushed in, it's not drawn in, it's not pressed down. It falls on its own natural result of the inhalation. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale. Take one more brief walk with you. We'll just practice that. Awareness of the natural falling around us and with our breast. You can also feel the muscles fall around the bones. You can feel the diaphragm fall on the inhalation. You can begin to feel much of the body falling in alignment with gravity, with the Earth's invitation, continually falling. We're just taking a short walk on this Northern path here, heading back towards the track there, and noting what falls as we walk and breathe. You may hear my footfalls. And the ground is colored with falling. The ground is covered with what had fallen. I like to watch an individual leaf sort of tumble salt to the earth. Just following it down. Following it down. Following it down. Yeah. And these leaves touching the fallen leaves inches from the earth we might expect to grow up one day but these too will fall some may fall as the tree itself falls and some may fall in the See a hawk out in the far distance there, behind the bear tree. So, Thank you for joining in.